Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it, shall we? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini. So, um, in you know, channeling your energies and like getting all settled in there, I, I started hearing a bunch of chatter. You know, like it was a, just a bunch of people having a big conversation, or just like a, a large crowd of people just talking all at once. Um, and to me, I really feel like you're you're very much in a, a communication phase or mode right now um, and that's not really anything too new for you you know communication is a big part of 
who you are energetically. But the biggest thing that I'm getting for you right now, for some of you at least, is that there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk going on around you um, and you're just kind of listening, just kind of taking, taking it in for some, okay? That's, I just see you kind of like floating around, bouncing from person to person or situation to situation, just taking in whatever you can. There's very much an in inquisitive nature about you right now, which again, is pretty normal. All right, Gemini? So I'm gonna give you one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. All right, cool. All right, Gemini. Boop. <clears throat> okay, overall energy for you, Gemini. We've got the Queen of Cups. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Cancerian here. Um, or you could be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces or Scorpio. You could have cancer in your chart or you could have another water sign in your chart but this here is compassion understanding unconditional love emotion and psychic ability empathy and stuff like that um I, and i feel like with this energy that i'm feeling of you just kind of being list a listener or an observer trying to understand you really could be embodying this um this empathic or unconditionally loving maybe even like a mother type energy here um, or there could be some around, someone around you that's really just being some sort of emotional support. You just could be, you could be, be uh, embodying that emotional support or could, there could be someone else around you that's being emotionally supportive. It could very well be your mother, <laughs> okay? You have the lovers, but this is you, Gemini. Here you are right here. So for some of you, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you are in fact embodying this Queen of Cups archetype, this Cancerian archetype. Uh, just being emotionally supportive, being there for someone, okay, which is nice. Um, and for some of you, you are embodying this for the first time. So this could be why you're very much in an inquisitive state because you're trying to learn how to, um, trying to learn what this is. You could be uh, in an energy of, you know, your empathic ability is really starting to open up. That has been coming through a lot for a lot of different signs lately. Okay, you also have the hanged man. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but again, this is being in somewhat of a, um, I don't want to say stuck or stagnant, but like feeling immobile, immobilized in a way, or not being able, or not knowing which move to take right now because you're in this new energetic state and you're just trying to gain some sort of clarity or new perception, okay? and you have the Knight of Wands. There could be some passionate sexual energy going on here. Uh, we could, you could be dealing with a soulmate or someone with the lovers here. You could, <laughs> some of you might be trying to figure out how to get on somebody's good side. It could be this person that's represented by the water sign here. Um, it's also some sort of spiritual warrior energy too, especially with enlightenment coming through here with the hanged man. Um, and uh, emotion, compassion, intuition coming through with the Queen of Cups, okay? So <clears throat> getting into your first row here, this is going to be the current energy surrounding you as you move into February. First set of surrounding energies, you have the Fool. All right, so embarking on a new journey, um, a, definitely a new chapter starting for you uh, or for someone around you. Um, I feel, I definitely feel like there is an energy of some sort of empathy being uh, embodied here or opening up in someone and it's really um, uh, pushing them forward in a new way, on a new path to start a new cycle in some way. And this would be through that new empathic energy or, or compassionate, uh, loving, unconditionally loving energy. The fool is coupled with the empress. Ooh, that's very nice. So um, it could be some of you are looking to get pregnant or are pregnant or about to have a child. Some of you might want to start a family. Um, but also this is the unconditionally loving mother-like energy, okay, embodied with the empress that is um, helping you or someone around you, <coughs> excuse me, embark on a new journey in some way, um, show up in some new way, be a new version of themselves. The Empress is adding that uh, nurturing mother, 
fertile energy to really allow you to grow. It's encouraging you or someone else to really take advantage of the new that's coming into your life to uh, it's like it's almost it's like providing the fertilizer for you to grow or for this person to grow and start their new journey start their new cycle up here in some new way in life okay second set of surrounding energies for you currently moving into february gemini you have the eight of cups so leaving the past behind in some way this is really a good thing um, leaving an old situation, an old expression, leaving, leaving something behind in favor of starting something new. Eight of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Swords. Woo! You might be moving pretty fast or this person might be moving pretty fast. Um, there might be some arguments or some sort of conversations, some words shared that uh, cause you or this other person to just completely walk away, to move on. Um, I do see the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords, um, you know, depending on the circumstances, they come out the same. But um, I do see the Knight and the Page as mutable energy. So in this case, with the air sign, it, uh, with air signs, it could be Gemini. Um, so I do see this as you, Gemini, especially with the communication factor that plays a role here with the Knight of Swords. Now, the thing about the Knight of Swords is that he can be quite destructive. OK, um, and if so, this is an energy of needing to pick your battles um, or ch choose your words wisely, because if you were to say something in like just the wrong enough with, way or with just the right amount of tone in your voice, it could set something off and there goes a big old fight. So I am seeing that for some of you, you're in an energy right now of the wor there are words that have been shared between you and this other person, or maybe you said these words, maybe they say, said these words, like say if you're a cross watcher watching for a Gemini. Doesn't have to be that way though, but it, I mean, either way, there are words that haven't been exchanged or at least are going to be exchanged. Maybe you have something to say to someone because you are, and because you have the plan, you're planning on walking away, you have intentions of walking away. Um, but there are words I'm seeing that have been shared that are influencing this moving on of some sort. And um, also with the, with the Empress here and the Fool, if you are walking away from something or planning on walking away from something and starting a new cycle, um, you know, the Empress is here to say, you got this, boo. You've got the abundance of the universe behind you. So go on with it. And trust yourself, trust your trust in the universe, trust in the fertility and the abundance of the universe. Now there is a with the, with the lovers here, there could be a decision that needs to be made. And uh, with the hanged man, you might feel like you're stuck in the moment, but you're trying to gain some sort of enlightenment, or enlightenment is coming to you, and that's coming through in the uh, uh, in the archetype of the Queen of Cups, which is emotional, um, compassionate. Uh, psychically attuned, psychically aware, that kind of thing, okay? Your challenge moving into the beginning of February or coming into February, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. So for some of you, you're feeling this rush type energy, but what you're needing to do is embody more of the Knight of Pentacles energy. Or for some of you, slow and steady is not the way to achieve it. So maybe for some of you, you've just been taking too long to make some sort of decision and you're needing to just make a move already all right knight of sword i'm sorry knight of pentacles is coupled with the five of pentacles whoa i feel like someone has been moving really slow here because they are they have some sort of lack mentality and the, the universe is here showing up as the empress saying, just go. You, you're not as lacking or as destitute as you think. You're only impoverished, impoverished if you believe that you are going to remain impoverished. You have to change your thoughts. This could very well be why there is this Knight of Pentacles energy, why the challenge here is to stop moving so slow. Uh, because there's a fear uh, or of a lack of abundance. Uh, there's a fear of rejection. Uh, maybe this new cycle that you're going into, you're feeling like you may not be successful or that people may not accept you. 
Um, and so you've been like moving like molasses, uh, almost trying to avoid making this change and that needs to stop, <laughs> point blank. The uh, final closing message here or the potential outcome in your energies moving into February, you have oh, the Two of Swords. You need to, someone, somebody has got to take the blindfolds off and face something, all right? You could be that you're, you're unable to see something, like you're not able to see something clearly, but I feel like there's more of an energy of refusing to. But that could be coming to an end here because you do have the hanged man, which is bringing some sort of enlightenment. So I do feel like pretty soon either you Gemini or someone else around you is going to actually see clearly and not going to be able to deny something any longer of course what they do with that afterwards is up to them and you know there is free will but I, I feel like the blindfold is going to be taken off very soon or at least needs to be two of swords is coupled with the eight of pentacles now, someone is trying not to see something and is just going about their day or their, their existence doing things the same old way. The Eight of Pentacles is very process-oriented, all right? You could see the Eight of Pentacles as somewhat of an assembly line because this person is producing eight identical pentacles, right? And so he has to do that in a very similar, if not the exact same way. So you could see this as... Um, like with the, the analogy of an assembly line just going about the motions mechanically. And this could be, in fact, in order to avoid seeing something. Now, on the flip side, keep in mind this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. You, some, you or someone else could be working really hard to gain some sort of new perspective, something that they have been hit, that they've been blindfolded towards, they haven't been able to see. They are probably someone, I feel like somebody here is working on gaining a new perspective in order to see something that they haven't been able to perceive before, especially with the hanged man here, all right? So getting into your upcoming energies uh, for the month of February, um, the, you know, moving forward from the current to the upcoming, first set of surrounding energies there, you have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, a commitment starting over says spirit um, maybe a message this could be a message a message of commitment uh, it also could just be you know recommitting to yourself to starting over to going on to embarking on this new uh, journey that you know the fool is representing honesty integrity commitment that kind of thing yeah Page of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, the Queen of Wands. Some of you are attracting someone here that's going to come through and want to make some sort of offer, of a stable offer towards you. And you've been working really hard, either you, Gemini, or this person around you has been working really hard to um, match the vibration of that which they truly desire. And so they'll be attracting some sort of message some sort of messenger. Now, I am noticing that they are facing away from each other. So it could be, it very well could be that there is a feminine uh, being, someone that is actually a woman or uh, someone that embodies more of the feminine energy is looking away from this potentially masculine energy um, that is just focused, it's kind of childish, is focused on their pentacles or um, status, money, and needs to grow up a little bit and understand that there's more to life than just money and possessions, physical 3D stuff, all that shit that you can't take with you when you cross off out of this lifetime, right? For some of you, you are attracting a new financial situation, maybe a new job. Hmm. Okay. Uh, second set of upcoming energies for February, you have the Page of Swords now. Good golly. Um, someone could be watching you. You could be watching someone else. Again, this could be your energy, Gemini. This is that inquisitive nature. This is that learning 
that I'm seeing here. Page of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So um, learning, gaining some new information in order to do some self-mastery work here with the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork even. Some of you could be seeking out uh, team, uh, uh, team, uh, uh, I'm sorry, teammates, people to add to your team. Um, especially if you're looking to create some sort of new business opportunity, a new job, maybe go into, uh, make, create a business like as an entrepreneur. Um, you know, either learning how to do that or seeking team members, okay? Your challenge in the upcoming energies for February, you have the Page of Cups. Some of you might want to look into the Taurus reading because a lot of the same cards have come out so far. Um, Page of Cups is a reconciliatory energy, is probably the dreamer, uh, or not probably, it can be the dreamer. Um, mm -hmm. The challenge may be to follow your dreams here. Also, the challenge might be to reconcile with someone. There could be an energy of someone wanting to start over and learning what they could do to bring some sort of teamwork back to the situation or uh, rebuild themselves, do some self-mastery work, um, some refinement work to then now bring some sort of apology or reconciliation into the mix here. Or the, that could, the reconciliation could be what this person is working towards. Page of Cups is coupled with the Page of Wands. So you got all four pages here, Gemini, okay? Um, and it's funny because this Page of Wands, this guy, he looks like he's a grown-ass man. <laughs> but what, I'm, what I normally see in the Page of Wands, and I'm especially seeing it here, especially coupled with the Page of Cups, there is a sense of... Um, self-realization going on so there is there is a, you're needing to there is the, the challenge here is to um face yourself to be see more of yourself to learn more about yourself and also to learn more about your emotions maybe to um grow up a little mature a little when it comes to the emotions when it comes to knowing who you are okay your closing message or potential outcome here for the upcoming energies of February, you have the Six of Swords. So there's that reconciliatory energy also being represented here. Um, moving from rough waters to calmer waters, mental healing, um, clearing the air. All right. So, yeah. That's really good. Or at least it feels good. Six of Swords is coupled with? Wow, and the Six of Pentacles. So I do feel like there's a sense of bringing some sort of balance, reciprocity into a relationship. Now, excuse me, this could be a relationship that is that you guys are trying to get back off the ground again, or this could just be moving forward with your life and seeking energies or seeking relationships in which the, the, the energies are balanced. There's reciprocity. But six is, a, is definitely a number of healing. So you definitely have some strong healing, healing energies moving towards the end of February, all right? Whether that is healing a relationship between you and another person or just doing your own healing within. So let's get into your Oracle guidance here for the month of February. 2019. All right, Gemini, let's see what we've got for you. Best message, please, spirit for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of February. Thank you so much, spirit. Best message, please, for Gemini. Ooh. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune in to the moon's magic. Okay. This could be guidance to help you throughout your month. Um, maybe tune into the moon cycles of the month to help you. You have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. 
all right? And finally, you have innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. And with all the pages, like all four of the pages have come out here for you, uh, Gemini. And so I really feel like, and especially since, you know, you guys, Gemini is considered the baby of the Zodiac. Um, really take some time to connect with your inner child. Take some time out to play. Communicate, you know. Um, learn new things. Seek new challenges, I'm hearing. I really do see towards the end of the month, uh, many of you are going to be working on reconciling with your inner child, um, healing inner child wounds, and, and all that good stuff. So that's beautiful, Gemini. All right? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys very, again, very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.